Hello, my name is Jerry. In this short talk, I'm going to talk about ICMP. I'm going to explain why ping is a useful troubleshooting tool and why you might ping your own loopback address as part of your troubleshooting. In this demonstration, I'm going to open a command prompt And I'm going to ping the loopback address for IPv4 and IPv6. And that shows success. So both times I get a successful ping. Looking at the screen in more detail, ICMP, Internet Control Message Protocol, is used to display operational information about communication with IP addresses. A ping is an echo request. It shows the success or failure in the time taken to reach an address. IP version 4 uses 127.0.0.1 to ping the loopback address. Success in pinging that address shows that the network hardware is OK and the TCP IP stack is configured correctly. IPv6 uses colon colon 1 or seven groups of four zeros, zero, zero, 001. To perform the same function. Looking on the left of the screen, my, one, my ping 127.0.0.1 sends four messages and if I look at in the center of the screen, packets sent four, packets received four, lost zero percent. So that means that my TCP stack is set up okay and my NIC is working. I'm not that worried about the round trip time. And later down and further down the screen, I ping colon colon one. So this is testing the IPv6 stack. Again, it sends four messages. It receives four messages, none are lost. This indicates that everything is fine. The reason you would you ping the loopback address is to ensure that your network IP is that your network hardware is working that your TCP IP stack is co correctly configured and that everything's working okay. We could use this as part of a troubleshooting regime so that you now know that everything is okay on the local host. If you can't ping further out, you will, you will know that the, the problem lies elsewhere. That was a short introduction to ICMP, pinging, and how to ping the how and why to ping the loopback address.